All right, today's Sunday, and I'm on my way to the flea market. And today we're going to, at the end of the day, we're going to close up a little bit. We're going to take a couple of weeks off and go to Florida and see our daughter and our granddaughter and, and whoever else might be down there. So that's what we're doing today. That's what I'm doing today. So I'm working my way that way. It's uh, 8.30 in the morning. And uh, I'm still working on uh, my Canva, trying to get this thing together. But uh, for a uh, reaction video, but for the life of me, I can't figure it out. So <laughs> I need help. And it's a beautiful day today. A little cloudy. And I think it's like 58 degrees, 60 degrees this morning. And uh, but the sun's coming out. And the trees are beginning to turn come to North Carolina for the turning of the mountains or whatever you call it the leaf season is what we call it here and they are starting to turn there's still a lot of green but uh, this time of year when the leaves colors start to change and the leaves fall off they, it looks a little dull to me you know like a, like a dull painting or something like that so they're not vibrant, they're not beautiful, but you can tell they're changing colors. And the, the mountainsides are really pretty, I think, uh, year-round. But this time of year, if you come up to the North Carolina mountains, then uh, they're a little dull looking. And uh, so that's what the leaf season looks like so far. Had a good weekend yesterday, or a good Saturday at the flea market. We did pretty well. But our flea market just, I don't know, maybe it's the economy. That's what I think. Thank you, Joe. It um, just hasn't been what it was two, three years ago. Well, three years ago, we did pretty good. You know, we could have paid... Uh, we could have paid uh, a, a lot down on a car, you know, but not pay it off. And this year we're struggling to just make extra money to pay our credit cards off, which we've paid one or two off, small ones, not thousands of dollars, but hundreds of dollars. And we try to keep our debt low, which is all a part of it part of life. Oh, well, it's not cold. There's, there's a couple guys in shorts and t-shirts. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah, you go ahead. I have to stop. There you go. Out of towners. So, I'm just kind of going through the back street today. Oh, just kind of taking my time getting there. My wife has already gone down there. And uh, she'll be waiting on me to help her open up. We tarp all our tables. And uh, they're good to go for the week. And uh, we've got some nice things to sell that we buy and, and try to sell. Kentucky. Okay. They're from Kentucky. So, out of towners. I haven't figured out the traffic flow around here. But that's okay. I'm that way myself. I go somewhere unfamiliar. But anyway, uh, I'll tell you what's happening. I'm working. Uh, there's a few videos that I watch on YouTube. 
that I would like to emulate, but I haven't figured out how they do it. So I guess what I'm going to have to do is do it simple until I figure out another way to do it, or a better way to do it. So I thought I'd make this vlog this morning. And, uh, oh, excuse me. He stopped got it. Barrel, although I slept good last night. So I'm just uh, heading out of town now. <coughs> Going down towards uh, Whittier, the flea market down there we go to every weekend. We've been down there like three years, so. We know a lot of people down there. A lot of people know us. And uh, we meet a lot of great people. Like uh, veterans. I'm a veteran, so I like to talk to veterans. And they tell me stories about uh, what they went through. And uh, one guy came through. He was a Korean War veteran. He was like 90 years old. And then uh, another guy came through, and he was in World War II, and uh, he told us about jumping out of airplanes and landing in Germany. Uh, well, actually, yeah, landed in Germany. He was a POW for a few weeks, and uh, before the war's end. And that reminds me. You know, uh, people that don't like America, uh, you're, that's unfortunate. But you don't like America, but yet you live with all the freedoms that we have. Freedom to go anywhere, any time. Oh, dude, sorry. Freedom to choose and buy what we want, as much as we want, spend all the money we want. In other countries, which I've lived in, like Turkey, Muslim country, uh, you don't have uh, that freedom. You can live free in those countries, Russia, Ukraine, all those, you can live free. As long as you don't say anything about the government. But in America, we can say anything we want about the government. Except here lately. If you do, then you get canceled. And, uh, I don't know. I just don't understand it myself. Because I grew up in the 50s. Oh, I'm going to turn this off and make everybody sleepy. But uh, anyway, I grew up in the 50s and uh, things were, well, of course, you know, as kids we didn't pay much attention to uh, politics and things like that. We were just living free and doing our own thing. My dad uh, was a freedom lover. He was a salesman. He sold car, and he sold furniture, he sold carpet, he sold tools. Oh, man, I'm going to shut this thing off. I just can't seem to stay away. My mother, to keep on talking about the family a little bit, my mother was the cafeteria lady. <laughs> oh, me, I remember. Uh, comedies about the cafeteria lady but my mama was in charge of the cafeteria and of course when I came through line I'd say hey mama give me, give me a little more little potatoes and she put just a little dabble on my plate because she didn't, didn't want to show partiality you know but back then we sat where we wanted to sit and we didn't have things like like breakfast programs and things like that. We just had lunch. We had a, we might have had a little snack. 
maybe if uh, we made one, peanut butter and crackers, something like that to take for a little snack and then drink water out of the water fountain. We didn't have colas and all that kind of stuff, but we had lunch. And uh, then after lunch, we uh, later on in the afternoon, we had recess. Went outside, played. We played kickball and jump rope across the monkey bars and, and uh, climbing up this uh, uh, metal pipe thing, you know, shaped like a dome. We did all that without uh, a helmet, body armor. None of that took place. If you fell off, well, then you got to brush yourself off. And uh, if you skinned your knee, then the teacher would uh, brush it off, clean it up for you, you know, a little bit. I don't remember having a school nurse. There about, there about a bit one. I remember one time we were playing uh, softball. And uh, all those boys out there on the field, we had enough boys to have an outfield and an infield a little bit, you know, a catcher and a batter, and everybody else played outfield. And my friend Al fell on one of the rocks. He had one of the rocks that was first base. Well, he went running towards first base, and he tripped and fell on the rock, a pretty good-sized stone, broke his arm. Well, he didn't know it was broke. We didn't know it was broke. The teacher didn't know it was broke. But we uh, got back to the classroom, and he started complaining, you know, hey, my arm hurts. My teacher looked at it, and it was uh, kind of an odd shape. And uh, she thought, oh, my goodness. So she uh, took him to the principal's office, and they called his mother his parents and she came and got him, took him to the doctor and and uh, oh, oh, oh. next day he come in with a cast on and that's the way things were back then in the 60s when I was in grammar school and everything we didn't whine and cry we got in fights we threw rocks at each other put somebody's eye out eh, well that's just the way it goes you know uh, we didn't sue the school. We didn't sue the parents. None of that stuff, you know. We shot at each other with BB guns. Uh, played army and all that stuff. We didn't have hats like this. I said to play baseball in. So we didn't think about wearing a hat and all that. So the only time I wore a hat, like like this was uh, when I played baseball little league. I was on the little league team, and the only person that had any kind of gear to protect themselves was the catcher. The uh, we didn't have a, a hat with a thing over the ear to protect our ear if we got hit in the in the ear. Well, then you know that hurt for a while, and uh, just go sit on the bench, get somebody to take your place. You know, batting and everything. And, uh, but we had gloves. Most kids had gloves. I had a glove. My, my parents were nice. They gave me a glove. They gave me a bat. They gave, bought me a ball and everything. And, uh, I went through a couple of bats because I got out there hitting rocks with a bat. It rocks, man. They fly. <laughs> Those rocks could fly if you hit them with a bat. But, uh, anyway, here I am at the flea market. Oh, oh, oh. And uh, I'm going to back in right here beside our booth. And I'll hop off here. So, I'm going to let y'all go. And uh, we'll see you next time. Y'all have a good day.